If I were to think of the philosophies that govern my life and the lessons I'd like to pass on to my children, I would say one of the main ideas would be this, that you need to think everything through for yourself. I'm reading this book right now about Genghis Khan and how he set up the government within the Mongol army, which eventually became the biggest empire the world had ever known. And both his battle plans, as well as how he set up his government, were based on a lot of what were considered controversial ideas at the time. For example, under the Mongol Empire, there was complete freedom of religion, a first of its kind. As well, people were promoted and given responsibilities based on merit, not birth, which also broke with tradition. But although these were unheard of innovations at the time, Genghis had taken note from previous experiences of life and his own personal insights. He noticed that when conquered tribes weren't allowed to practice their own religion, they had no loyalty to the conqueror. And so in the interest of stability, he came up with unheard of policies. This ability to think for himself changed the trajectory of the entire world. Since we were children, we were put into a school system that tried to reduce free thinking as much as it possibly could. I don't think this is because the system is evil. It's just that as societies, we've gotten too big in order to make sure society doesn't collapse. We need people, for the most part, to fall in line. This is good for society, bad for you as an individual. The side effect of our children blindly following our authority without questioning it is that we now live in a society where the vast majority of the population is unable to think for themselves. They rely on the news or the government to tell them what to think, or they rely on some guru or mentor. Someone thinking for themselves is an incredibly rare trait, and one that is desperately needed. As Marcus Aurelius said, everything is just an impression, and we do ourselves a disservice when we can only follow the impressions that someone else gives us. Thinking for yourself allows you to think through first principles and discover innovative ways of tackling tasks. As an adult, don't just take the words of an authority at face value. With every fact that you hear, someone has an agenda behind it. So if you can think for yourself and encourage those around you to do the same, we can truly change the course of the world and hopefully pull people out of these soul-sucking jobs that don't bring them any fulfillment.